Uh, let me get an update real quick. Gina, launch aborted started. started. So we just heard here from NASA, launch aborted started. Uh, we don't know if SpaceX a final decision. Not going to launch. SpaceX is not going to launch. That is the official the word right now. The next attempt will be Saturday, 321 or 322 p.m. on Saturday. That is the next time that they can get this spaceship up into space and unite with the International Space Station. You know, this is something where we're looking at this and it had to happen at exactly 433. The weather had to be right at that time, uh, but it clearly is not going to be, at least according to SpaceX and NASA. They said if we had 10 more minutes, we might be able to do this, but you can't do that because this spaceship needs to get up there and meet with the International Space Station at a very specific time. All right, Gio Benitez with that breaking news. If you're just tuning in, the SpaceX launch with NASA has just been aborted. Of course, the Falcon 9 rocket aboard the Dragon. My control, control room is now telling me we actually have the audio of when they aborted the mission. Let's listen in. We continue to violate a couple different weather rules that we now do not expect to clear in time to allow for a launch today. We'll go ahead and end uh, today's launch attempt. Launch control, if you would end the launch auto sequence and proceed into the launch abort auto sequence, please. Launch abort has started. So that was the moment right there that they aborted the mission there. Of course, uh, this has been a moment nine years in the making. Katie Coleman is an astronaut who joins us now. We've been talking for several hours on ABC News Live and National Geographic just before this launch. We, we sort of saw this coming. The, the weather was so bad. We had heard from the NASA administrator who talked to the president who at one point said it's a go right now. But they sort of looked at the weather and walk us through sort of that decision making because it's a poll taken by all of the parties involved. So. When they made the poll, the weather was actually con complying. It was good enough, right? And they also saw it going in, this, in, a, in a good trend that it was going to stay good. And yet, it did not. And, and just I was listening to some of the chatter afterwards and after they said, you know, if we'd had another 10 minutes, we maybe could have gone. It's not that it was just preordained. It's the Florida coastline. It's the afternoon, you know, in May. It's just uh, it's tough to launch. And and uh, as uh, Gino said, we're, we're going up to the space station. We have to meet it at a certain point. There's only really exactly enough fuel to get there. And so we have to go at just the right time. We can't start late and still catch it. Give us a sense of the disappointment as an astronaut. You've been in their shoes before your first mission aborted seven times in 30 days and in three times on my second launch um, <laughs> and so you know this drill. but you know it, it's um it's it's hard on the families and in this case it's a little bit different where people couldn't come to the launch but I mean, I've had hundreds of friends and family down there in Florida, of hotel rooms and rental cars and vacation time, and, and yet the astronauts know they're going to go. It's just a quick, I mean, it, it means not right now. It means we're going to go when the time is right. The next window is on Saturday. So it's actually fine. It's, it's not as hard on the crew as it is on the families and the friends, and, and everybody has been looking forward to it. But space flight happens when it's supposed to. You know, Christina Cook is uh, an astronaut who's just returned from space. Christina, you know, you, you've seen this happen before with other missions. And so I, I'm curious, as an astronaut who just returned from space, what, what do you do now in, in the coming days between Thursday and Saturday getting ready for that next launch? Well, uh, Chris Cassidy on board will have a second chance to get the rooms ready, I guess. But, you know, Katie's right. It can be disappointing. Um, but as astronauts, we're trained to be adaptable and to sort of stay in the mindset that we need to and to, you know, restart for the next time that we do have a launch. I was in, on board the space station when we had a SpaceX weather scrub of a cargo vehicle. And we were all really looking forward to that cargo vehicle arrival. And our entire week changed dramatically when it didn't launch and had to be rescheduled. So we're used to this. Um, Bob and Doug, as fighter pilots, they have weather scrubs even on their sorties um, in aircraft all the time. So I have a lot of confidence that they'll be just as excited on Saturday as they were today. All right, Christina Cook for us as well. Katie, thank you so much for your perspective. If you're watching us right now, this mission uh, to the International Space Station between SpaceX and NASA has just been aborted because of the weather. If you're watching us right now, we're going to return to our local news programming. We're going to continue our coverage right now on ABC News Live and National Geographic. And we want to promise you we're going to bring you all the action on Saturday when this launch is going to happen again. Thank you so much for watching. Again, we continue our coverage on ABC News Live and National Geographic.
This has been a special report from ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.